And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. Well, you're a legend who has wrestled legends. Um, did you ever have the opportunity to wrestle a Mill Mascaris? No. Who, what wrestler took their gimmick so seriously they were too difficult to work with? Uh, I never had really a hard time with anybody. To tell you the truth, I never, I never run into a, anybody. I never, I never had a problem. I only had one problem. Well, it was a problem not with me, with Randy Savage. You know, we, we, I didn't know the guy. He just came in, and uh, Tiger Conway and myself were against the the Poffles, Randy Savage and him. And uh, I don't know if I ever told that story before. Yeah, I think you clobbered him with an implement of destruction. Yeah, well, <laughs> and that was the only problem. That's what I remember. Uh, yeah, it didn't wow. last long. Well, they were going to team up on him and, and beat right. him up. Right, right. And uh, it was a lousy match, you know, because I don't know what was going on. Mm. And then I was his partner, and I said, well, you ain't going you, you to <laughs> double a, <laughs> on my partner without me being involved. And when we left the ring, the match was over. They jumped him. And I handed it real quick. <laughs> was, was the Poffo family an odd type of family? Uh, I mean, was Angelo oh. the miser? That you want to hear the best one? Go ahead. Every single day. I was in the office. I had 20% of that territory. You know, I had bought. And uh, I didn't know him very well. They came to me and Bob Rube and Bob Orton. They wanted her. So that's how I got involved. And uh, every single day we were in the office, Rube and Orton, we'd look at each other. Angelo would say, better dead than poor and alive. And I'm like, huh, better dead? Uh, no, no, better, <laughs> I got it wrong. Better rich and dead than poor and alive. He had something about money. He was the miser. He was a real miser. There was no work there. <laughs> he was a miser. I mean, better rich and dead than poor and alive. That was the line that we heard almost every day like a prayer. <laughs> and he brought in a couple of friends. Uh, one guy, he was a, from Hawaii. I can't remember his name now. Oh, he's... He can cook so good. We've known him for 20-some years. With, and then when he got there, they treated him like dirt. Mm. <laughs> I mean, we mm. looked at each other. And we said, it was a weird family. Was Randy more like Angelo and Lanny was kind of the oddball? Lanny was a happy-go-lucky guy. You know, really, he was, I like Lanny. He, he, he didn't care about much. You know, he just liked to have a good life. What would you think of the name Lanny, though? Lanny? Like, I always thought, like, why'd you name this guy Lanny? Leaping Lanny. But Leaping, Leaping Lanny. I Leaping just, like, just makes it... I mean, is that I his real name, know. Lanny? It's his real name, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah. an odd name, yeah. is not? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Here's my son, Randy. <laughs> and here's this kid I really don't like that much. Here, <laughs> <Yes>. Lanny. <laughs> That's we'll awful. name him Lanny. Uh, <laughs> born to be the genius, obviously. Oh, it was weird. Uh, the, the whole family, I think, Lanny was the... He's a cool one. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah, he liked to laugh. And there you just, go. He didn't care. He, he balanced that name. So you're, you're, you're around I all, like these, Lanny you're around all these, <laughs> these bookers, right? Yeah. And now we see that their sons have turned into these mm -hmm. wrestlers. Mm -hmm. Did you feel a necessity, like, to kiss the sons' asses, like, at some point? Like, be I nice never, to them even though you didn't like them? That's one of? thing I never did. I can't see him doing I, it. Yeah. You're going <laughs> to... No. Nope. Like, was Cody Rose just, like, a little punk, like, yeah, hey, my dad is the booker, and, like, poking you or something like <laughs> well, that? I never, I never met the kids. No, never, huh? There never you go. met the kids. I didn't even know he had two sons. There you go. I didn't know. Yeah, I knew he had one. It was the other one there. Dustin. Uh, Dustin, yeah. I right. Knew that. But right. I didn't know he had another one. Right. Yeah. I never got a real personal with him, you know, about his life and all that. You know, even at the beginning, we was just kids, you know, Get back to the bar. You know, I was mm. in my twenties. Right. They were they were in their twenties. You know, we ride the road. I drove like a maniac. <laughs> you 
you know, 100 miles an hour to get to the bar. <laughs> there you go. We'd slide in the parking lot in the gravel with the brakes on, and we'd just beat, just got there without a second to lose. They were closing, you know. That was like a race. It was funny. You know. Previously, when you know, we talked about, you know, you really being one of the guys that defeated Andre the Giant, which was kind of brushed. In a handicap In match. a handicap, which kind of brushed. Right. Yep. What, was we Andre difficult to work with, or was he? What was Andre like? Andre, if Andre liked you, he give you the moon. And he just happened to like me, and I don't know why. You got I lucky. Had him, we had him. My wife and I had him over, maybe because I spoke French, you know. Uh, but from day one, you know, he was. He was a gentleman. Did your wife have to cook for Andre when you, know, you had him? He didn't eat very much. He didn't eat any more than I did. He really? What? He drank a lot. Just drank a lot. Just yeah. drank a yeah. lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one plate of food is all that. Wow. My wife thought, oh my God, yeah, I'm going to have to yeah. cook two pigs and a, and a whole <laughs> Wait house a minute, so you have him over the No, hold on. You have him over the house. Hi, right? <clears throat> hey, honey, I'm bringing Andre the Giant. Yeah. But, uh, hey. Where's he sitting? <laughs> uh, we had, we, funny enough, we had one big chair, uh, rustic, you know, it was Heavy, heavy duty chair. Okay. And that's what he sat on. So your wife's like, I got the perfect chair for this guy. Yeah, it was like an antique thing, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a, wood, you're a woodsman type, at least you strike me as that. Did you have a big outhouse in the back for this poor fella? I mean, <laughs> after the one plate of food. I, well, you know, it's funny. I don't that. know. It's probably, I'm just why probably why you know. didn't eat so much, right? That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, Holy he was limit. full of liquid. <laughs> he drank, he drank a lot. You, know, you mentioned drank. earlier about But guys, he was a, he was a. Good soul, man. I tell you. Yeah, well, you're very fortunate. He just naturally liked you because we've yeah. heard stories of when he doesn't like somebody. That's it's oh, not yeah. a good place yeah. to be. Yeah. Not a good place to be. Well, I was with him one time. With the, I couldn't believe it. I was in New Orleans, and we went on the Bourbon Street. My wife was with us, and we had the guy from Canada, the big, big guy. He was his interpreter. See, when when I did all that, he hadn't been in the states very long. Mm. His English was not very good. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he understood. He understood a lot of English. Anyway, we're coming out of Bourbon Street, going back to our car, and it's three o'clock in the morning. And there's a couple coming by us, and there's this guy was about you know five foot seven, five foot. He looks at Andre and he says, "What a freak!" Oh, call him a freak. Wow, oh, boy. Andre picked him up with the shirt, <laughs> lifted him up, and he went <laughs> like a slow motion. He would have killed him if he hit him hard. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His hand was so he heavy just took it, he and just, sick, you know. He, he, I think he knew his, his strength. He know. did. Okay. But he knocked him out. He dropped him on the side. The guy, and the wife is screaming. So he picked him up a second time, and he went another one. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a slow motion, you know. And you heard the puff, you know. Wow, wow. And he dropped him again. Yeah. And I said, oh, shit, we're going to jail. So I said, let's go. So we started going towards the car. And we turned the corner, and there's our car. And I said, man. We don't, I don't hear no sirens or whistles or anything. So we got in the car and we drove off. Never wow. heard him. Never heard a word wow. about it. That woman yeah. was screaming. Speaking of someone.